Newcastle United have officially announced the signing of Sven Botman. The third kit is now available to buy in the Newcastle store. Eddie Howe has been spotted boarding a plane and presumably returning ahead of pre-season. And 30,000 Geordies queued for a season ticket this morning. Yes guys, how's it going and welcome back to Toon Tuesdays, your weekly roundup of Newcastle United news and it is a big one this week because Newcastle have now unveiled the signing of Sven Botman. We will talk about him and a whole host of other news very soon but first be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I know loads of you guys watch my Toon Tuesdays every week but still haven't hit that big red button. So please do get those notifications on. Do not miss an episode and it really helps the channel as well. So that's right, Sven Botman, the Botman, has officially signed for Newcastle United. It's a player that Eddie Howe has been chasing since January and it's not been the world's best kept secret. We saw him entering the Newcastle training ground yesterday for his medical. We then saw him head over to the stadium to get those contracts signed. We even saw Dan Ashworth arriving at St. James's Park as well. So we all knew it was on the cards. I did wonder if they might have announced it late last night, but again, sometimes these things can take a little bit longer. But it's now official. It's been announced on the Twitter, on the website. Sven Botman is a Newcastle United player. And it's a big sign in this one, you know. It is a statement signing. You talk about the January window, bringing Trippier in, uh, Bruno coming in, you know, some big signings, but... Sven Botman is, is a big one, 22 year old, uh, 35 million, he's a player that a lot of teams around Europe were interested in, Newcastle have beat out AC Milan to this guy, it's, it's huge, and it's obviously going to spark the next conversation as who is going to um, start at centre back for next season, but regardless, it's great competition, you talk about us bringing in Nick Pope, Trippier, Dan Byrne, target Sven Botman we have brought in an entire new pack five uh, in the course of the last you know six months so it's big it's exciting let me know your thoughts on Sven Botman down below again the windows just started you know we still have you know over a month till the Premier League begins we have a whole month of potential signings that could come in but we've gone out we've done business early it's what Eddie Howe wanted and I'm absolutely chuffed, to be honest. So let me know your thoughts on Sven Botman down below. And maybe we can start looking at the conversation of who is next on our hit list. Or at least what positions are next on our hit list. So let me know your thoughts on Botman down below. Where can we look next? Um, it's exciting stuff. I am absolutely buzzing. Cannot wait to hear what is coming out of this club next. This morning at 10am, Newcastle United put season tickets on sale for the new season. Now, we had the renewals ages ago. Now, it's reported that pretty much everyone and their dog renewed their season ticket. I don't think there was many people who didn't. And obviously, the club still wants to keep a selection of seats available for day-to-day, match-day sales. So, it's reported that just 1,000 season tickets were available this morning and it's it basically showed that over 30,000 people went on the website and queued for a ticket that is 30 times the amount of tickets available people queued for which is absolutely mental part of me wondered if it was a good idea to even put those 1000 tickets on sale because we knew there was going to be so many more people which meant there was going to be so many disappointed people but if you were one of the thousand who got one let me know down in the comments because you were a lucky person if you managed to do so and that was with restraints on who can even buy them you had to have either bought a season ticket in the last two years bought a ticket in the last two years, had a membership in the last two years. So that's 30,000 people queuing. And that's not even including people who haven't, weren't eligible for one in the first place. So it's it's crazy. It's great to see that the support of the, uh, of the team of the city is through the roof right now. You've got to wonder what will happen next in terms of next season. Is there going to be any tickets available? Is this just the way it's going to be at Newcastle United from now? We will have 
to just wait and see. And again, the new owners and Murdad have spoken about trying to potentially extend St. James's Park to 60, 65,000. Obviously not a huge extension. There's not a lot of room around St. James's Park right now. But if you need any evidence or proof that the fans will sit in those seats, you've had it this morning. 30,000 people queuing for 1,000 tickets and they have sold out. So if you're watching this video now and thinking, could I still grab one? No, unfortunately they went like gold dust this morning. So if you're lucky enough again to get one, let me know where you will be sitting next season down in the comments. Eddie Howe has been spotted this morning heading onto a plane from Southampton which will be heading to Newcastle, no doubt making his way up here in time for the pre-season which is due to start on Friday the 1st of July, could be the weekend and again it's great to see that Sven Botman has signed just in time for the start of the pre-season, I know that Eddie Howe was quite keen on getting in as many signings as possible to give these players a full pre-season and again we've already seen other teams start their pre-season Gateshead started their pre-season at the beginning of this week and Newcastle are not far behind cannot wait to see a few photos of the lads back out on the pitch at the newly refurbished training ground again we are still in the works of hopefully bringing in a fully purpose-built training ground but we have seen that they have put in a few little extras in time for the start of this pre-season and again, you know, you talk about in previous summers, I would just go hide in the in the back room until the season starts and then just pray that it was better than the last one. Not this time. I am totally in for it. I cannot wait to see what the lads get up to in pre-season. Again, the coverage of Newcastle has been fantastic from the Newcastle United media team compared to the past. I have no doubt there will be videos, photos of the lads back in training and I cannot wait to see it. Speaking of pre-season, Newcastle were meant to head out to America for a pre-season tour, pre-season camp. That got cancelled some time ago and we haven't really heard too much about what the plans are since. We know that Newcastle are playing two pre-season friendlies at St. James's Park at the end of July. A few days before that, we are also heading out to Portugal and playing a game against Benfica. But what is happening in between now and then over the next three weeks? Well, there are reports today that Newcastle will head over to Austria for their pre-season camp, hoping to organise a number of friendlies over there, including one against 1860 Munich at the stadium of FC Pinsguau Salfenden. That might not be bad, you know, if I've got that right, <laughs> I'll take it. I'm thinking I've probably butchered it, but if that is where they are going, I'll tell you what, it's not a bad looking stadium to be at. And Again, uh, Newcastle fans are, are really up for it at the moment, so I would not be surprised if a few try and head over there to see some of the football. And if that's the kind of view you're going to get when you're out there, it doesn't look too bad. So we are still waiting on official announcements from Newcastle, but uh, they must be getting something booked soon. Or, well, I, I imagine they will go out and do a pre-season tour. I would not be surprised if this is the one. Austria isn't that far away either if you compare it to America or even Australia we were linked with as well. So we will have to see what happens with that. I think Newcastle United were trying to pull everybody's leg last night because it's 7 p.m. exactly on the dot, just at the time where everyone thought we would be announcing Sven Botman sat there on your phone, on Twitter, notifications on, Newcastle United tweet out, and it's that we've got a new sleeve sponsor, Noon, the Middle Eastern company, from what I can tell is the Middle Eastern version of Amazon. So yeah, just when everyone thought Sven Botman's coming out, no, we have a new sleeve sponsor, Noon, a deal that's meant to be worth around seven and a half million. I don't know the, the, the logistics of that. Hopefully it's seven and a half million a season. Hopefully it's seven and a half million a week, who knows, but We've got a new sleeve sponsor, more money in the pot for signings. And I suppose it's quite a clever idea from Newcastle, to be honest, because they want to give the new sponsor as much publicity as possible. And they know for a fact that everyone is sat at home waiting for the announcement from Newcastle. So... Yeah, well done to them on that. A bit of news on the sleeve sponsor. And while we are on the topic of shirts and kits and sponsors, Newcastle have released 
the new third kit, the green and white kit with green funny year on the front. That is now available in the Newcastle shop as of this morning. It was announced at 8am, so waking up this morning, looking again for, has Sven Botman been released yet? No, but we have announced the new third kit again. Mike Ashley has done his bit, hasn't he? Because he was selling it in Sports Direct yesterday without the club even announcing that it was available. So, presumably, Mike's got a deal with Castore. Or I don't know how the hell he's getting his hands on these kits before we've even announced them. So, did Newcastle potentially plan on doing a full announcement separately? You'd imagine so. You know, I'd, you'd imagine so. So, they've potentially had their arm turned there and had to just this morning put it out there because it's already available in another shop and it's not even available in our shop so yeah a little bit a little bit naughty there I think I don't think that's that's great is it but anyway the kit is now available in stores at Newcastle so if that's the one you fancy go and get it obviously we've seen the home kit released as well we are just waiting on the away kit now what a day we are having. Sven Botman announced as officially a new Castle United player. The new third kit is out. We've got everyone and their dog fighting for a season ticket. And if you guys have enjoyed this episode of Toon Tuesdays, be sure to like and again, subscribe to the channel. We will be back every Tuesday. Hopefully, we'll have a new sign in every Tuesday. Probably not. But if you have enjoyed the video, if you're still watching now and you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. Again, loads of you guys watch these videos every week but still haven't hit that red button. Have a great week. I am on the daily upload, so I will be back tomorrow, the day after, the day after that with Newcastle United content. Do not miss out. If you want to learn a little bit more about Sven Botman, be sure to click here where I did a full deep dive into the player, where he was before Newcastle, how he's built his career up to this point. It's a great video, so be sure to give it a watch. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. And I'll catch you later.